It's been said there is no such thing as an ex-fighter pilot. Once a young man straps on a jet aircraft and climbs into the heavens to do battle, it sears his psyche forever. At some point, he will hang up his flight suit. Eventually, they all do. But thankfully, Hoot Gibson is not ready to hang up his flight suit. Ignition and liftoff. Atlantis begins another space voyage as it clears the tower. Seems fitting that a week at space camp includes hearing from the real deal. A certified, bona fide, been there, done that jet fighter pilot astronaut, an all-American hero. Retired Navy Captain and Shuttle Commander Robert Hoot Gibson has been filling that bill for a number of years to the great delight of literally thousands of trainees. As an added bonus, the fact that Gibson is a Top Gun naval aviator and test pilot with more than 14,000 hours of flight time in 133 different types of aircraft means that he can talk the talk and walk the walk at Space Camp and Aviation Challenge. He grew up in a flying family where both dad and mom were pilots. He knew very early that he wanted to follow in the footsteps of his hero. Not an iconic moonwalking astronaut. No, his hero was dad. Gibson's plan did not include spaceflight, but Hoot says that all changed in 1974 when he saw an artist concept of a space shuttle in Aviation Magazine. That image of a winged spaceship changed his focus. He wanted to fly space shuttles, and that he did. Hoot says it was luck that led to his selection as part of the first class of shuttle astronauts in 1978. The luck obviously has no part in NASA's astronaut selection process. It might have been at play and that it would be shuttle astronauts that first included women. In his class would be the first six U.S. female astronauts, including Ray Seddon, a beautiful, brilliant MD and perfect match for Gibson. He's a pilot's pilot, and to see his love of flying and to see how much he cared about his space experience and how successful he was at it uh, is just a wonderful thing. It's, it, you know, it's a man who's been able to live his dream, and uh, I think that makes him happy, so that makes me happy. In 18 years as an astronaut, Gibson flew five space flights, four of them as the mission commander. He flew aboard Challenger, Columbia, Atlantis, and Endeavour. His final mission was the first to rendezvous and dock with the Russian space station Mir in 1995. In his career with NASA, he also served as the Deputy Chief of Aircraft Operations, Deputy Chief of Flight Crew Operations, and Chief of the Astronaut Office. When you wish for a commander of a high-risk operation, you want someone that is the best of the best, and that's who Gibson. Gibson's passion for flight continued beyond his retirement from the Navy and NASA. He spent 10 years flying as an airline pilot and captain with Southwest Airlines. And since 1998, he has raced in the Reno National Championship Air Races in the Unlimited and the Jet class. Gibson has received numerous honors and awards, including the Distinguished Flying Cross and induction into the Astronaut Hall of Fame. In addition, he has been awarded many international aerospace and aviation awards and holds several world speed and altitude records. But despite the many accomplishments and honors, children Julie, Paul, Dan, and Emily know this all-American hero simply as Dad. What I can tell you about Dad, he has taught me the definition of unconditional love. From the time I was a little girl wanting to ride horses and play tennis, to high school when I decided to move from California to the East Coast for university, to my career and relationship choices, my dad has always supported me. My dad always emphasized the importance of doing what I loved, believing that everything else, money, happiness, success, would follow. He's the best dad in the world. I hope I can be half as supportive a parent as he has been to me. And what would Hoot be doing if he couldn't be an astronaut or a pilot? I have no idea. Probably be a guitar player or a surfer. He can do those too. <laughs> he might be part of a rock band living out on the West Coast, surfing in his free time. It isn't just that Hoot is a great guest speaker at camp that makes him a friend to space camp. It is that he is an advocate for and champion of the whole of what goes on here. And tonight, because he is among space camp's very best friends and for his uncommon service to the staff and campers at space camp and aviation challenge, we induct Captain Robert Hoot Gibson into the Space Camp Hall of Fame.